What's up guys, Steve Craig Retro Games back with another video and tonight's video is a small pickups video only about a dozen items or so um, but you know what they say it's not how much you get but what you get so um, hope you guys enjoy so before I get into the actual games I always start, like to start with uh, anything paper related and I have some posters I got from my local GameStop I wanted to show so if you guys watched my channel, you know just a few weeks ago, I got one of these small ones for Kirby. Um, but this time I got one of the double-sided big boys. Absolutely love the artwork on this thing. It is just uh, super cool. So I got that Kirby poster there. Then I've got one of the smaller ones. This is for the quarry, which is uh, coming out here in a couple of weeks. And uh, I believe this is a survival horror game. Um, I have not actually seen much on this one myself, but uh, when I asked him if he had any posters they were going to throw away, this was one of the ones, so I took it. Here's another small one, and that is for Triangle Strategy. Um, don't own this game, but I uh, do love the artwork on this. So again, they were going to throw this out and I told them, nope, I will take that home with me. So got that one. And then the last one is another big boy. And that is the double-sided Elden Ring. Now this one has a little damage on the bottom corner there um, and a little tear right here but really really cool poster cool artwork I do not own this game either but anytime I can get these free posters I jump at the chance because these things are super cool and eventually I'd like to have a display where I can uh, interchange them and um, put different ones in so now we'll get to the game portion of the video. All right, guys. So as I said, not a ton of games. I think I got like nine or 10 games here or game related items. Uh, the first one is not a game, but it is super cool. And that is the Steelbook for Lego, the Skywalker Saga. Um, this was an extra they had at Best Buy. So I was able to snatch this up for 10 bucks, uh, which is really cool. These go for like 40 on eBay. Just need to remove that sticker. This is for uh, the Xbox 360 or PS4 version. I was really hoping it was the Switch version, but uh, either way, really happy to have that. I love the Han and Carbonite. Super, super cool. So I grabbed that, then a few switch, well first, and then I picked up this as well. This is a four gigabyte memory card for a Wii or a DSi, and grabbed this for two bucks. So these are always nice to have, and you never know when you need some more memory. So went ahead and snatched that up. Uh, picked up a few Switch titles. The first one is Sayonara Wild Hearts. Uh, this is one I've been passing on for a long time, but uh, this went on sale for $14, I believe it was, at Best Buy. And this is a sealed copy. So for $14, bucks, I finally decided to pick it up. Don't know much about it. A pop album video game. So, looked cool, and for $14, I figured, why not? I'll finally take the stab. Then I picked up uh, Ikai, Ikai, I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce that. This is a survival horror style game. Um, pictures are so dark, can't even really see much. I've heard a little bit about this game, um, but I have not played this yet. This comes with... Uh, little stickers there and it also has a postcard style card there so this is complete with those goodies 
And I've heard mixed things about this, but wanted to go ahead and snatch this up. So this is a complete copy, of course. Then I picked up a couple of um, limited run games that I ordered January or December of last year. I can't remember when, and those finally decided to show up. Uh, the first one is Angry Video Game Nerd 1 and 2 Deluxe. These are still sealed. So obviously this is the Angry Video Game Nerd game one and two. Had to grab these. Uh, this game looked super fun. Um, a little, you know, it didn't look great, but still really wanted to have that in the Switch collection. So had to snatch that up there. Then the other limited run game or sold through limited run is drive or hashtag drive. This is the steelbook edition. And so basically this is an endless driving simulator game where you pick your ride, pick your road and drive. Um, <clears throat> really, really cool looking art style game. You have a gas meter, damage meter, you have to avoid traffic as you continue to drive. You can swing through gas stations to fill your meter back up or swing through auto shops to fix the damage on your car. And you collect coins and you just go until you crash and cannot continue to go anymore. Uh, really, really cool looking game, chill looking game. Um, I recommend you guys checking this out. They had this version and then uh, with the steelbook, and then they had the version with just the game. Uh, but looks like a really relaxing, chill game, cool music. Uh, check this game out, hashtag drive. I uh, picked up, um, well, you guys might have known about a, two months ago, I ordered the box for this, and I got the tray as well. And now I got the game inside. So now all I am missing for this, and I think I have the manual, is the manual. Uh, I still have to look and see if I can locate mine. Otherwise, I just need to get the manual and I'll have a nice complete copy of Street Fighter 2, or Super Street Fighter 2. Um, you know, this box isn't mint, but it is in pretty decent shape got some some folded corners there but uh, other than that pretty decent shape and uh, really happy to um, have a mostly complete if not complete uh, Super Street Fighter 2 I think I have the manual for this I need to look through my extra manuals though so always cool to uh, complete another uh, SNES game or possibly uh, I got one 360 title, and that is Splatterhouse. Um, so I am a huge Splatterhouse fan. I have the original for the TurboGrafx-16. I have Splatterhouse 2 for the Genesis, and this one. I uh, might eventually pick up Splatterhouse 3, although it doesn't look like as good of a game as um, 1 and 2. Um, but this one looked fun enough, and... Yeah, I know this one's different as well, but I had to pick this up. I got it for a good price. It is a nice, complete copy. So, really happy to have another Splatterhouse game. And the cool thing about this is, if you beat the game, you actually unlock Splatterhouse 1, 2, and 3. So, technically, this is four Splatterhouse games and one. So, really, really cool. Uh, overly violent game stories, you know, but what do you expect story-wise when you're talking about Splatterhouse? So really, really happy to have this. And then the last two games, guys, are Saturn games, and I have been trying to um, really beef up my Saturn lately. Absolutely love the system. The first title I got is... Dark Savior. This is a very nice complete copy. Did 
does have a little, uh, actually I think that's sticker residue there. I need to uh, clean that off. This one just came in. Really happy to have this game. This is basically a um, 2.5, uh, what am I, the isometric style platformer slash RPG game. So um, kind of hard to describe, but it is an isometric style platformer. Um, once you get used to the controls, it actually controls pretty well. It's just a, you know, a little bit of a learning curve. However, when you encounter somebody else, it is like live action RPG almost. Um, it's difficult, difficult to explain without showing you gameplay footage. And unfortunately I am not set up for that, but, uh, 300 free floating action pack 3d environments, um, Multitude of items and weapons to be found and utilized. Killer one-on-one, -on -one, three-round fighting sequences. So when you encounter somebody that you fight, it is a one-on-one, -on -one, three-round fighting sequence. So really, really cool game. Really pretty. Just absolutely love the Sega Saturn cases when you get them in nice shape. I always try to get my cases as nice as I can. So a very nice, complete, dark savior. Really happy to have this. Uh, and I am trying to beef up that Saturn collection while I can. So we got that one there. And then the last one, guys. Oh man, I've been having so much fun playing this over the last week. And that is Shinobi Legions. This one I actually have in a protector. I am out of protectors. I need to order some more. Oh, what can I say about this game? I am just having an absolute blast with Shinobi. Um, so this game you actually play as Sho and um, your sister is taken and you have to go after her basically uh, to rescue Aya. So this is a uh, seven levels of just pure kickassery. You have uh, your sword. You have shuriken. Uh, you do have a, n a limited number of shuriken. You pick up more, you know, uh, different side weapons, uh, and then you also pick up like special power moves that you can do that will last for certain amounts of time. Um, tons of different move combinations with your sword, up, down, diagonal, slashes, all different types. Uh, you've got digital, uh, digitized characters. This is a, uh, vertical scroller, a horizontal scroll, a scroller, multi-layered backgrounds, parallaxing, very beautiful game. Absolutely love it. It's got live action, um, cutscenes in between each level. It is super tough. I have gotten to the end of stage four, and uh, that is as far as I've gotten so far. But man, oh man, this game is an absolute blast. It's beautiful. Again, I try to get these games in as best a shape as I can with the cases. I just love uh, the cases on these things, and the artwork is amazing. So really happy to add two more awesome Saturn games to the saturn collection there and um yeah guys those are my pickups for the last week all right guys well i hope you enjoyed this pickups video if you did and you're not yet a subscriber you guys know what to do click that notification bell click that subscribe button hit that thumbs up i'd appreciate it if you do any or all of the above and if you like this content you can also check me out on instagram that is steve craig retro games same as it is down below you can always come back next Monday for my handheld game of the week. And then next Friday, we'll be doing another pickups video, um, probably about the same size as this one, maybe a little bit smaller, but a couple items coming in, I'm super excited to get in my hands. So make sure you come back for that one, guys. And until then, have a fantastic weekend. Take care of yourselves out there, guys, and keep gaming.